Uh, this is the story of how I became a clinical hypnotherapist. Um, at the time I was taking Reiki classes and uh, emotional freedom technique and um, chakra and energy boundary classes at a psycho-spiritual school. And I was afraid of hypnosis like, like this, like stay away. Um, but I kept getting bugged by one of the um, teachers and administrators at the school. Hey Jeff, when are you going to sign up for the uh, hypnotherapy training? There's a few spots left. I was like, um, you must be mixing me up with somebody else. I'm not interested in hypnotherapy. And um, he kept bugging me, so I started asking the question intuitively, should I become a clinical hypnotherapist? And I get the answer, yes. I'd be like, wait, really? Oh God. Let me ask again, should I become a clinical hypnotherapist? Yeah, okay. Wow, what am I gonna tell people? This is so embarrassing. Um, I had been working as an environmental scientist for 10, 12 years at the time, um, and was on the exterior very sciencey and analytical and kept my spirituality in the closet where it belonged. Um, but a year prior I'd had this motorcycle accident. The night before the accident, I stood outside my apartment and I looked up to the, to the sky and I said, something's got to give. I'm in this comfortable rut in my life. Um, career, relationship, um, everything is just fine. Everything's okay, but it's just okay. And um, I'm not really happy and I don't really feel like I'm um, fulfilling my purpose here and uh, but I can't break out of the rut on my own so the next day a deer ran out in front of me perfect timing for me to hit it a t-bone the deer going 50 or 60 miles an hour on my motorcycle and I went to the ER was glad to be alive grateful for everything um, and a few days later when I returned home I stood back in the same place and looked up to the sky again and said, okay, got it, I'm listening. What do I need to do? What should I do? And the indication was very clear. Um, pursue in some way, maybe career, maybe as hobby, but just pursue your interest in energy medicine, energy therapy. Okay. Um, I had been practicing Tai Chi and um, doing chakra work and, and meditating a lot on my own for 10, 15 years before. And um, I had had this experience on a BART train five years before the motorcycle accident where um, while meditating, standing up, holding onto the handrail on the BART train, um, I dissolved into, um, into white light as did everybody else on the on the train from my perspective and the train itself and um, I, I ceased to be any separate from everything else and um, that was my the most powerful spiritual experience I'd had and woke me up to what teachers I had been studying had been talking about from their experiences um, so when I had the um, hit of pursue energy medicine it, it made sense to me um, and um, I reflected back on the accident and um, I remembered the deer running out and I could see this being um, sending the deer out in front of me and as I, as I wept in gratitude for the, the deer and since sacrificing its life to wake me up um, I also felt this this heart opening kind of gravity of what it what it would mean to hold my my life purpose in that greater that greater oneness.